by this pink one now right in front of them. Yeah, yeah, they're both up. All right, as soon as that pink one clears, I'm going to take the shot, okay? You okay, ready? Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Sean, you ready? Ready. All right, so there has been a problem hippo in the area. We're very close to a fishing village. We got the call this morning uh, when we were out hunting that there's a, a big male that's giving the canoes of the fishermen uh, some problems, and we have been called in to take it out. We are also hopeful that we can organize the meat going to the local community, which would be a fantastic result because the hippo happens to be in this area. So hope to kill two birds with one stone, take a problem hippo out, and also get a big meat drop here to the local community. We went and got set up and this bull is super smart. He stayed underneath the water, breathing barely through his nostrils, clearly and rightfully has been harassed by the villagers because he's upended a few boats, but he now knows the game. We're going to come back here first thing tomorrow morning, early, set up warm. This is not going to be easy. These problem animals have gotten really comfortable with people and interacting with people and they certainly know what the plan is so this is going to take much more of an effort to get this done but we have one day and uh, we're going to make good on it tomorrow morning
people, and we're making a rapid stock. They tend to move. He's a little bit out of his main area, and we've got to get it done just now. We are in a great big rush. Let's go after it. This could be our last chance. There's another one right in front of him. Yeah, it's, it's a big part of hippo, but I'm right where I can see his nostrils, okay? Okay. Okay, there's a pink one that just popped up and yes. so did he. He's just the to one the right of that, just to the right behind it, that's him. Gotcha, okay. All right, there's a pink one now right in front of him, yeah? Yeah, yes. they're both up. Yeah. All right, as soon as that pink one clears, I'm going to take the shot, okay? Be ready. Okay, yeah. Ready. Here we go. Shawnee, you ready? Ready. It's been about an hour, and we're pretty confident that the hippo is popping up right in here. John Pan over here, it's just starting to break the surface over here. And we should be on to him right now. I think the problem guy. That's it? Yep, that's it. It's a hippo. Big bull. Big body. Wow. They're in a little shallow area here. The pod was about eight, nine animals. And we got the problem guy, he had a, a very distinct little uh, scar on his face and we were able to get him down. Mm. Yeah. Alright, the hippo is secure. And it is going back with us. Okay, push him in, in the water. Push, push this side in a little. Push him over, put some sand while we... Like that. Okay. All right. We got the problem. Hippo sorted out. He is now coming out of the water. We're going to get him set up, take some uh, pics, and get this meat ready to be taken to the village that has been hassled by this bull. So it's all coming together right now. Thank you, my friend, for making this happen. Uh, another great uh, stock. Uh, this was a little tricky because we were looking for a specific animal uh, versus just a big trophy, which is what we're normally doing. But uh, this bull was giving fits to the local community. Uh, I know that uh, this is a fishing community, a fishing village, so these boats are constantly having to interact with the hippo. Uh, so 
question to you, being here in the Caprivi, you're the main pH here in the area, do you have a lot of these types of situations that pop up? Well, Matt, the thing is, if you in this is all communal, rural concessions that we hunt in conservancies. Mm -hmm. um, so you are going to run into people. People, there's a human wildlife conflict aspect always in the year. Um, no matter what time, as soon as food starts running out or it gets enough water, they get closer to the villages. These guys come in. Remember, they've been here for many years. Absolutely. Um, these guys live in a couple of mud huts and some reed walls. It's nothing for this guy to go through there. Very, uh, very important. You know, for me, not only did we have the opportunity to solve a problem, but uh, if you can explain to us the local community that, uh, if you will, suffered from this bull being in the area, will be now getting a majority of this 1,500 to 2,000 pounds of meat, yeah? Yes, sir. So from this village, a lot of these times, the hippo, the meat will get divided up to between certain areas, but because of this is uh, sorted of as a, as a, problem, a problem hippo, mm. it'll go to the specific village where this lady was injured and the compensation, the money that was, that was generated from this, yep. will also go to the cause. What a uh, amazing opportunity that uh, came our way. Thank you so much for guiding us and making it happen. It's a pleasure, man. Thanks and, for a good uh, shot. You're uh, very welcome. And this is uh, another big bonus of hunting in some of these communal lands in Africa. All right, we have uh, made it to the uh, local village here uh, in Caprivi. We are unloading the hippo meat, about 1,500 to 2,000 pounds. There's a big crowd of people here. Uh, they'll be handing it out uh, here very shortly. And uh, safe to say the village is going to be pretty well fed here for the next month. inviting me into their community here in Namibia, in the Caprivi. I've had a fantastic time hunting in Namibia. I've been here four times. This is my fourth time. So very happy to be back here uh, in the Caprivi for the first time. I'm trying to show the rest of the world how, because of hunting, we can get the game meat to, to local villages uh, like this and uh, that's what we're documenting here. I look forward to uh, hopefully coming back here again and uh, you know uh, doing this uh, one more time so everybody can see how hunting and the local communities benefit together from what's going on here including the safari companies that are here. Thank you very much and uh, appreciate it. I'm on it.